Hello, it's the IT guys. Today we're going to be looking at the if function in Excel 2013. So, the if function is used to test a value and check it against something else. We'll use a logical operator to test that value. So here, we're having a look to see if these people are eligible to pay tax based on having to pay have an earnings of at least fifty thousand pound a year to be eligible for tax. So what you do is you type equals if. So let's type it in. So equals if. Then you can click on if as tab. So now you've got to do your logical test. So what we're doing is we're testing if the cell C4, I can't click on it, so I'm gonna to have to type it cell has a value in it which is greater than let me use this big symbol or equal to what is in this cell here which is j3 now we want j3 to remain constant when we drag our formula down so for that we're going to put insert dollar signs which you can do easily by pressing f4 and then it'll insert our dollar signs this means that it'll stay referencing j3 when we drag our formula down now we need to put a comma and the value if true now we want it to return a word if it's true so we're going to put in speech marks and we're going to say yes so if the value in our cell is greater than fifty thousand pounds yes they are eligible for tax and a comma and another speech marks and then we're going to put no so if they're not, if the value isn't greater than £50,000, the formula will return no. I'm going to press enter. I put it wrong. Sorry. Oh, they corrected that. I put a space in. So we do that. So that's the, it now corrected. So we're now going to drag that down. And it should stay the same. Now the beauty of this formula is if someone's income changed to say £49,000 they will automatically update or if the tax band was say lowered to £40,000 it will again update that information now we could use this formula in a slightly more complicated way since we know the tax rate is 25% if we replace yes with a separate formula as I've shot here then we can get it to do a calculation on how much tax people will be paying if they are eligible for tax. So we're going to go if again. So I'll just do this. So I can just type this time. Equals if. Now the logical test is going to be that value there is greater than or equal to this value here. And again, it needs to be dollar signed. Then the value, if true, is going to be. I don't need to put space. Let me put space. It's going to be again C twelve times by the tax rate. And the value, if false, is going to say not applicable, which is again has to be in speech marks. So that's how you construct a slightly more complicated if statement. This will then turn that if you're paying £51,000 income, the tax will be £12,000. This is a very simple way because it's assuming that all of your income is being taxed at 25%. However, if we say change the tax rate to 10%, oops, type it wrong, then obviously the values paid in tax will reduce automatically. So that's all we're showing you in this tutorial, but we'll have plenty more tutorials on our channel and we'll make sure there's more tutorials on formulas, including VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But for now, see you next time. Bye.